told your medical information is supposed to be private, but I bet you still have a healthy skepticism about whether it's actually secure. Brad Gladish is here to prescribe some assurance. Brad is an enterprise security specialist. Mm -hmm. So welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I mean, of course, doctors keep files on patients. So what is it that's keeping that information secure? Sure. Well, in 1996, the United States government passed what's called the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. It's a mouthful. <laughs> yes. But most people know it by as HIPAA. Right. And basically, in general, what HIPAA does is it outlines the security requirements that health insurers and medical providers must follow uh, when they're protecting health information. Um, now, obviously, the government regulations are extremely important, but at Medical Mutual, our customer information is gold and, and we just feel it's the good business practice and the right thing to do. Okay, so all this information, what kind of information that's included under the HIPAA rules? Sure, so anything that you would think would be in your typical medical file, past conditions, current conditions, and you know future conditions that you may have, it could include notes from conversations that your doctors may have had about your treatment or your care. Um, it could also include uh, a lot of information that that other companies that support hospitals and clinics, those are called business associates. So third party billers, um, there could be other data providers and all of these inf people need this information and um, they're, they're holding on to it for a legitimate purpose. Okay, there's a lot of people though, it sounds like when you're going to the doctor and then there's the transcription person and there's the billing person and there's the insurance company, that's a lot of different people. It, so it is, yes. how do we make sure that that is all you know, still secure. Sure. Well, a lot of those entities will be under the laws of HIPAA, so therefore they, it's considered protected health information, and there's the rules they have to follow. Uh, for example, HIPAA dictates what people can do with this information, who can see it, how they can share it. Um, there's a rule in there called the minimum, min, minimum necessary rule, mm -hmm. and uh, basically when people need to use this information, uh, they have to use the minimum necessary to perform that task. Okay. Now, there is one caveat. If a doctor is talk, talking about your care, or your treatment, um, they are able to disclose more information than, than the minimum necessary. Because that might be actually needed. Absolutely. Okay, so maybe minimum necessary for a bill or might just be name, address, and you know, code or something like right. that. Right. Okay. Right. Now, systems are being hacked all the time. Uh, you know, social security numbers are always getting out there. How do we know that the system doesn't get hacked by one, you know, into one of these providers of service, sure. the people who have the information? Sure, absolutely. So for an organization to begin uh, protecting sensitive information, it all starts with a risk treatment plan, which allows them to identify risk, address the risk, and hopefully prevent the risk from happening. So some of the common practices that many organizations do, including Medical Mutual, is use passwords or PIN numbers, which makes the information only available to people who have, who have that password. Mm -hmm. You can encrypt the information, which jumbles it around and makes it unreadable, except to people who have a key to, to decrypt it and, and then view it. But the important thing is, is you also want to have accountability. Who's accessing the information, when are they accessing it, and what are they doing with it. Okay, so the HIPAA rules cover all of this stuff with all of those different providers, and it's safe, right? Well, it's safe for those who are under the laws of HIPAA, okay? Uh -huh. um, so there are a lot of other organizations out there that need legitimate access to the information. Employers, workman compensation carriers, and life insurance companies, they're all asking health information. Mm -hmm. You know, fortunately, the privacy and security of protected information is a hot topic right now. So there are other laws in place that hopefully those organizations will be be under still and protect still to, to, to still protect your information. Yes. All right. So let's give a hip hippo hooray to Brad for joining us today to explain these privacy policies. To learn more, use the information that's coming up next. Find out more about Medical Mutual of Ohio by visiting their website, www.medmutual.com slash 2015 options, or call 1-866-488-3266. Next.